but I don't feel good about this. Hi everyone, welcome back to Wine & Watch. My name is Ashley and today I am drinking water. Um, I apologize, I've been really slow at uploading videos lately. I have a lot of videos that I still need to edit, um, but I did travel a couple weeks ago to Boston for a week, so that kind of slowed me down. And then the week after that was Thanksgiving and I was traveling again to my hometown and visiting friends. And then last week I got COVID. So uh, that was a bummer. I don't know if um, I still sound a little funny because I'm still a little congested, um, but I'm feeling a lot better thankfully. And I figure that I would start recording. Uh, I don't have any Breaking Bad videos to edit. I have a lot of the boys videos to edit because I watched, I think, half of the second season and they're just, they just need to be edited. Also, I did post the sixth Harry Potter movie, uh, The Half-Blood Prince. But it got taken down because of copyright issues. So this one by far has been the most difficult, difficult with editing with everything because I've tried to edit out a million times so that I don't get in trouble for copyright reasons. I thought I was maybe going to be able to figure it out. So far I haven't. I even like appealed one of the decision it's just it's just been a lot and it has not worked in my favor so I need to try to re-edit that again so that I can post it I think it was only up for like a few days and then they blocked it and so I got to work on that again and then I need to finish I have two more movies left to watch and then we'll be moving on so please let me know. I will be putting a poll out soon if you would like me to watch for my next movie series. If you would like me to watch Lord of the Rings, Pirates of the Caribbean, or the Mission Impossible movies. Oh, I didn't even tell you what we're watching today. We're going to be watching Breaking Bad. Uh, we're still in season two. I think this is the seventh episode. The last episode, I believe, was when Jesse was inside the house with that couple. And they were just a mess. And he ended up getting money from them because of the ATM, which crushed the guy to death that they had stolen from like a convenience store, or like a market or something. And I think they killed the person who owned that store. And yeah, Jesse was able to get out of there. He called 911 and told the, well, he didn't say anything. And so I'm sure they stumbled upon the house and found the kid outside. So shout out to Jesse for helping that kid out because I felt so bad for that kid. Uh, so that was a big portion of it. And then also, uh, Gretchen figured out that Walt used her and Elliot as, you know, he he used them in his lie with Skylar. And I know a lot of you said in the comments that, like, she, you know, had every right to be upset. You know, she's, she's you know, complicit with all of Walt's wrongdoings. And I hear you, but I'm sorry I disagree. She doesn't know that Walt is doing anything wrong, so I don't feel like she's complicit in those illegal activities because she has no idea what he's doing. It would be much different if she knew and was a part of this lie. She's just a part of, Walt is just lying to like everyone about lots of things. So. To me, I don't think it's that big of a deal, uh, especially knowing, I mean, I, we don't know yet. I mean, maybe you guys do know, but I don't. Um, the way that they had that conversation, he made it seem like they kind of like stole all his work. They stole the credit for his work and they've lived like this, you know, great life since. And he kind of was 
thrown off, thrown out, you know, thrown off to the curb. And a lot of that was his work. He was a part of it. And so to me, like, that seems really unfair. And for her to be all high and mighty and being like, don't, you know, that be upset about this lie. Like, I just don't, I don't get it. And honestly, if they were friends, like, I'll lie for my friends if they want me to, you know? Like, if you were truly one of my good, good friends and you needed me to cover for you, like, I'm going to cover for you. Like, I'm sorry. I'm That's just the kind of bitch I am. I'm going to cover for you. Uh, I don't see in her situation that it's, like, super morally incorrect for as far as what she knows. I mean, yes, if she was aware that things were illegal, like that's different. You're then involving me into illegal activities and I don't agree with that. That's not okay. You know, if you're not a part of it, yes. But she's not, I don't, I don't consider her complicit because she, she's not aware of what he's lying about. And you know, it's, I just don't think it's that big of a deal. I think she was being really dramatic about it. She has every right now to, I think she handled it okay, okay? She ended up calling Skylar. She didn't tell Skylar the truth, but she's like, I can't, we can't pay for his treatments anymore. So she did, in the end, cover for him, especially after Walt was being a little wild. Not a little. He was being freaking wild with her. The way that he just told her, like, fuck you. Like, that was crazy. I, that was too much. Like, Walt shouldn't have done all that. But... I, I do appreciate that she covered for him in the end, but she was like, I'm not going to be a part of your lie moving forward. That's fine. You know, it worked out. Walt was able to figure out what to tell Skylar, you know, whatever. But yeah, sorry. I just don't. I mean, I understand what you're saying, all those people in the comments, but I just don't. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Um, yeah, sometimes you got to cover for your friends for the greater good. And... That's, that's how I feel. So sorry. But uh, anywho, yeah, I'm excited to see what's going to happen next. We don't really, we haven't seen Hank and Marie in a bit. So I'm excited to see what's going on there. But yeah, I guess that's it. We'll dive in. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any content that I post. I am going to try to get back to posting twice weekly. We are currently watching Breaking Bad, The Boys, and the Harry Potter franchise. So let's get into it. What? Walt. I don't know if we should be doing this on campus. Are you ducking me or what? This makes the third time. Look, uh, I will be leaving this phone on for another 15 minutes, so call me. Oh, and, and by the way, that thing we talked about, the, uh, when I said handle it, well, don't. Just let it go. Yep. Too late. He handled it. Shit, where is Jesse, he? open the door. I know you're home. Your car is here. Come on. Hey. Can I help you? Oh, I love no. her. Well, I'm the manager, so can we stop with the pounding, please? You're the manager. Yes. Yes, you can help me. Absolutely. Um, I very much need to get inside here. So if you have a master key... You okay, that. she doesn't yeah. know you. That's not gonna work. But the person who lives here, it's just, it's just very important for me to see him. And you knocked, right? Yeah. <laughs> he didn't answer. Which mean? Look, I'm his father. All right. You're Mr. Jackson. <laughs> yes, that's me, Walt Jackson. And you are. Jane. Jane? Very nice to meet you, Jane. I hope you wouldn't mind. Mr. Jackson, I'm happy to let you use my phone. Want to call him? No. No, I... I mean, maybe call so off said, her phone. I, maybe he'll answer. I would like have you let me inside here so that I can check on my son's well-being. 
whatever's going on between the two of you is family. I don't get involved in family. Jesse doesn't want you in there getting him. Period. Sorry. Ooh! Come on in. Dad. <laughs> he was listening. You okay? Yeah. Oh, shit. Is this what you've been doing the whole time I've been trying to reach you? No. I've been taking care of business. What business? What business? Mm -hmm. What business you put me on, asshole? What, you already forgot? <laughs> Business. Ah, is that a jog of memory? Son of a bitch. He's going through it for sure. Rightfully so. Well, hey, you said, actually, you said handle it, so. You know what? I handled it. I said handle it. I meant fear and intimidation. I meant get your money back. I certainly never meant to have you kill somebody. No. Well, too late, you know, because the dude's dead. Oh, God. All right. Way dead. Oh, and hey, 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 here, here's your money. I didn't say I killed him. Tell me what happened. The dude's wife. Crushed his head with an ATM machine. Yeah. Crushed his, crushed his head. It was not pretty. An ATM machine right in front of me. And he crushed it like, oh my God, the sound still in my ears. You know, the blood, like everywhere. Like there's so much you would not believe. Uh, man, will you just please give me, just give me, my weed, all right? It helps with my nausea. So, you did not kill anyone. Nobody. Does anybody think? Definitely anybody witnessed a murder. I called the cops. You called the cops? Yeah. You know, I called and I split, and then they came in and busted her. Gosh, she was, she was so sapped out of her mind. You know, it's she did it for like nothing. Yeah. Well, we told I mean, her she was escaped, but yeah, that's why no, she <laughs> was escaped. Can this person identify you? Can she identify you being there? She could identify your left ass cheek. You're so zonked. Say it. Say it. No, I, I ain't no. Uh, I ain't no Tuco or or crazy. Yet. I can't run through. That's Come on. For sure. On. Point made, man. Point made. Yes. Ooh. You get on. Right. I just want to forget. Okay, well, we also can't just sleep on the floor and just let our life fall apart. And maybe let's buy a bed. Let's try to live a little better. When you start living better, you start feeling better. Glad to have you on board. Oh, thanks, thanks. Everybody getting you settled in? Oh, yeah, yeah. Great group of guys. Oh, that's right. He's Anything in else? a new office. Guys. Okay, so yeah. this is, that's these good. people are just not his kind of people. Better time to arrive. About to put a big dent in the cartel. All right, thank you. Yes, sir. What do you want to say about those bastards like caca pasando un pato? Let's see if they're down. Oh, they're really involved. <laughs> They know Spanish. I don't think he does. Way different office culture than his last. You know what, Heisenberg? Yeah, I don't remember you. You were the cook. Let's just get this over with. Where's Jesse? Busy. And that's cool. Real cool. Totally cool. Hey, uh, hey. It's all there, man. Every dollar. In case you want to, like, count it. Here? I'm just saying, uh... I'm just saying, 
Like we cool, yo. We ain't got no confusion and interpretation as to who we work for. And that's church, yo. <laughs> okay. What have you heard? Yeah, they're like scared of him. Did Jesse really? Uh, I mean, uh, did he really squash that dude's head with an ATM machine? I don't know if we should just go with it just to instill fear. Who's saying that? Damn, man, it's all over town. Uh, Everybody's like, whoa, snap. Usually I gotta chase dudes down for their money, but today, everybody's paying up. Two and a half. Serious. Maybe let's go with it. You didn't hear that from me. Okay. Let's hope that it doesn't backfire on us. May I see Ted Benneke? I, I think he'll remember me. Mr. Benneke's very busy today, unfortunately. No, if it's okay, I'm just... Just... Oh. oh no, what's the story here? dynamic <laughs> to be honest Ted I, I didn't just stop by to say hello I um I was applying for the data entry job you're kidding Skylar you were like our uh, go-to bookkeeper yeah well the economy you know so. well, you'd be interested if you mistake How about to uh, get your old job back? Ooh. We're expanding, and uh, <clears throat> between you and me, the whole department's pretty much of a mess. Your work could be cut out for you, but uh, we could use your help. Well, that's great. Okay. <sighs> okay. I wonder why she did leave, like, were they doing that well financially that she just left? Now, why aren't we exploiting that? Because it's not our territory. Because we lack initiative. Initiative. Yes. Ah. You need to employ more dealers. Double, triple your crew. Those three I met, they should each have three, six, nine sub-dealers working for them. Exponential growth. That's the key. It's not our territory. Man, yo, you follow me here? Huh? We go rolling into these neighborhoods. Other crews ain't gonna take kind. Yeah. You understand? Sure. They won't like it. But I say they're not gonna do a thing about it. Oh. No, listen, Jesse. No. Jesse. The game has changed. The word is out. And you are a killer. <laughs> I don't know if he what? wants to hear that. It's all over town. Somebody crossed you, you got angry. You crushed their skull with an ATM machine. That's not how it happened. Who cares? Just as long as it's our competitors who believe it and not the police. Oh my. Now, don't you see how great this is? He's not in the right state of mind you, for this conversation right now. <laughs> hey, how about you stop jerking us off here? Oh, I don't know if that's how this dynamic works. Where's the meat? When's it going down? White boy don't like, let's make a deal, huh? White boy's gonna kick your ass, you're gonna stop wasting his time. Traitor? Hey, white boy. My name's Tortuga. You know what that means? If I'd have to guess, I'd say that's a uh, Spanish for asshole. Tortuga means turtle. That's me. I can't 
Keep my time. <clears throat> He's not fitting in well with this new crew. Got myself a job today. You did not. As big as you are. Thank you. You know, I just mean where? With who? Well, someone willing to work around that, apparently. Benneke. You did not. Is Mr. Grabby Hand still there? Marie, that was one time at a Christmas party, and he was so drunk, he was practically slurring his words. Oh. Is what you want, an example? And he apologized profusely. Plus, he's married with a family, so I'm sure he doesn't want to get sued for sexual harassment. It will not happen again. Uh-oh. Is money that tight? Yeah. You know, we can always help out. No, Marie. You know Walt, he would just... Oh. Speak of the devil! Hey, hi, Marie. How are you? What's up? Nothing much. How's... Things with you. Good. Hi, hi. Uh, dinner will be about an hour. Oh, thank you. Oh. Everything okay? Everything's perfect. Oh. Is he not doing well after his treatment? Where? Um, Benneke? I'm back working in the accounting department. Skylar? What about the welding fumes? Isn't that why you had to quit in the first place? Um, they've gone green since then. They have some kind of green welding or something. Uh, I didn't smell anything when I was in there. I feel like she then lied to him about... Pass away. Yeah. Who's running things? Ted. The son. Anyway, I... She, I no, feel like, lied to him about why she quit. I don't want to be late my first day back. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Okay. Wish me luck. Oh, no. What is the background story about why she left? Pinkman, huh? Yeah. Hi, your name is Jackson. Hey. All right, <laughs> just walk away. I mean, I I get they're different. Hank had to grow on me, so I understand. But like, also, don't be talking shit right in front of him. That's not cool. Is that your guy? Hey, I think that's your guy. What the hell's he doing down there? What? Oh my god. PTSD. The woman was too stunned to speak. Oh my gosh. He's really fucking lucky that he walked away. 
Yeah, shit's not funny now, is it? Oh, fuck. <sighs> now everyone's gonna have PTSD. Game's changed, yo. This is our city, all right? All of it, the whole damn place, our territory. We're staking our claim that we sell when we want, where we want. But we're gonna be kings, understand? Well, I'm gonna be king, you guys will be princes or dukes or something. <laughs> I wanna be a knight. But first things first. <laughs> okay. We gotta get more dealers, you know, foot soldiers, right? Now they'll be working for you. You're working for me, and they're working for you. You follow me? Layered, like nachos, exponential growth. All right, but I don't know if like I trust success. these guys to pick With people. The capital S. What? Is Walt okay? I know what you're the boys are ready. There was some mad cheddar, yo. Cheddar, Mr. White, fat stacks, bad presidents. We're not charging enough. What? Corner the market, then raise the price. Simple economics. Okay, but I'm concerned. What is going on with Wall? Is he getting real sick again? Did the chemo not work? Hey, how's Denise doing? Uh, we split up about a year ago. Sorry. She's definitely happy now. I guess I have two most days. Yeah, ever since high school. Yeah. Remember that. Anyway. Hello, people change. Well, that's not good. Anyway, I just wanted to welcome you. He's a you. free man welcome now. Back. And, uh, I'll see you around the vending machines. <laughs> okay. We should have lunch one day. Oh, cool shit. I don't feel good about this. My name's not really Jesse Jackson. It's Jesse Pinkman. And that guy you met, he's a, uh, he's not my dad. You're not gonna kick me out. Are you? Cause I actually really like it here. I don't make it my business when you do. So long as you don't do it here. Fair enough. So hey, I got this kick-ass new flat screen. Wanna see? Uh oh. oh, she's so pretty. This so, is so uncomfortably like, awkward. You know, really, really, really black. And uh, the Dolby six point whatever. So we we'll really rock that house. Well, you know, I'll keep it way down. Of course. Oh, okay. Maybe we should have gotten cable. I don't know what the hell's taking so long. <sighs> What's happening here? Okay, that's kind of cute. I'm still very uncomfortable with the awkward silence though. Okay, well that was cute. If I was her, I would have been so uncomfortable. I'm just an awkward person though. So, that's probably just me, but okay. They're clearly both into each other, so that's great. Jesse needs a little bit of happiness in his life so hopefully that works out 
But okay. Good episode. Okay, feel really, really bad for Hank. Still, he already had PTSD. This, that situation, not going to make it any better. Uh, don't like the people that he's now working with. They seem just not very welcoming. And I understand that Hank's, you know, kind of different. He, he takes some getting used to, but I, um, not a fan of the way they treated him. Uh, I think you can be a little bit more welcoming as you're, you know, kind of learning about the new guy working with you, kind of understanding what kind of person he is, giving him a chance. So I didn't really like that. But, you know, I don't know what's going to happen now that they just all went through that. They were, like, giggling and laughing, trying to make it seem like he was tripping over, you know, a head going by on a... I don't know if it was like a turtle or a tortoise. Can't, I don't know which, I don't know how you can tell the difference. But yeah, they were trying to like make fun of him because he was getting sick, you know, after seeing that. And then they got blown up a little bit. Some of them did. So, you know, that's not good. Maybe you should have been laughing at him. <laughs> not that that would have made a difference, but. So yeah, that should be interesting to figure out. I hope Hank's gonna be okay, cause he's going through it. I don't know how I feel about Skylar and this job. I feel like there's weird stuff going on with her and that Ted guy, and I don't like it. I don't feel safe about it. I guess we'll find out what happens. Well, I don't understand what's happening with him either. He seems to not be doing well. I'm afraid that he didn't, that his cancer is probably still there. I hope that it's not spread anymore. I don't know if that first round of chemo worked. So I'm concerned about that. I guess we'll see what's happening next, but that, that was an, it was a bit of an intense episode. Um, I was so, I was not expecting the explosion with Hank out there. Like, that one did catch me off guard. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I was already shocked by the head, seeing the head. I knew something, I didn't realize it was going to be on, like, the tortoise or the turtle or whatever. But I did see when, like, Hank was looking through the binoculars, you could see the head, like, on, almost on the ground, like, going by. And so I had a feeling, like, his head was chopped off. Didn't expect that, but I really did not expect the explosion. So that was just, that was a lot. But yeah, it was, that was a pretty good episode. Thank you so much for joining me on Wine and Watch. Please like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any content that I post. We are currently watching Breaking Bad, The Boys, and the Harry Potter movies. And yeah, we will hopefully see you soon. Bye.